Also tonight, helping those who put their lives on the line to help us. Every day, firefighters and medics are called to tragic situations and tasked with keeping their composure. But it can sometimes take a toll on those first responders. Two News reporter Robert Lowry explains what is being done to help them cope. Well, across the country this year, more firefighters have taken their own lives than those who have died in the line of duty. It's a staggering statistic. A firefighter here in the Miami Valley is hoping to change after going through his own personal struggle while doing what he does every day. They put their lives in danger every day to help those in need. In some cases, however, it can come at a cost for our first responders. I knew that I had to reach out to someone. Jerry Medock has been a firefighter for 12 years here in the Miami Valley. After working a fatal crash early on in his career, he sought help when it started having an impact on his mental health. Sometimes those events can bother us in ways that, you know, we, we need to deal with. Unfortunately, others don't get the help they need. This year, there have been 103 firefighters who have taken their own lives, according to the Firefighter Behavioral Health Alliance, a nonprofit group which tracks fire and EMS suicides nationally. Medoc, who is a member of the group, says the number is only a fraction of what is actually being reported. We feel that on average, there probably is anywhere between 350 to 400 fire and EMS suicides each year. It's an unsettling number compared to the 74 firefighters killed across the country this year while doing their jobs. I reached out to the Suicide Prevention Center in Dayton to find out what could be done to help. The main thing is for people to not be afraid to talk about suicide. Lucy Marlett, director for the Suicide Prevention Center, says more awareness of the problem can also help. The hardest part for firefighters is overcoming what may appear to be a show of weakness. I just, you know, tell people it is okay. It's okay to go get help, and there's definitely no shame in that, and you shouldn't be ashamed. And to help firefighters, the Firefighter Behavioral Health Alliance hosts workshops at fire departments across the country, and they are also fighting to get more he mental health training into the fire academy so young firefighters will know where to find help if they ever need it. Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.